today I'll be showing you how to install Fallout London on the Steam Deck within SteamOS Gaming Mode, quick and easy. To achieve this, you must own Fallout 4 on Steam. Have around 80GB free space on your Steam Deck's internal drive and 1 or 2 hours spare time. From desktop mode, open Steam from your taskbar and access your library and make sure you have already downloaded Fallout 4 from Steam to your Steam Deck and this is selected like so. Add the game to your favourites, click the cog symbol and access properties. Go to the compatibility tab and we must assign Proton Experimental. After that come over to the general tab and we must turn off cloud saves. Once you have done both of these close the window and open Firefox or your preferred web browser. Navigate to GOG.com, create a free account and sign in. We can bring up the Steam keyboard by pressing Steam and X together. And once done and you're all signed in, find Fallout London and we want to download all 10 files listed from the game download page. I have a link in the description which will take you directly to this page provided that you're signed in. For best practice, make sure your download folder is cleared and all the files are present like mine here. In total, Fallout London's GOG installer is around 33GB, so once you have all the files downloaded, leave them in your downloads folder as we'll be coming back to these shortly. Next, we must access the Fallout London Tholon Teams GitHub page to download the Fallout 4 downgrader tool. This tool will downgrade our Fallout 4 Steam version from the 2024 next gen update to the pre next gen update, which is a requirement for Fallout London to be playable from Steam. I have directly linked this in the description of the video, which will always display the latest version on top. Alternatively, you can download the downgrader from Nexus Mods, but you will need to create an account and sign in. On the GitHub page, we must download the Linux file to our downloads folder and unzip this by right clicking on the file, open with Arc and extract the Folon downgrader. If we double click on the Folon downgrader normally, it won't launch, so we need to right click and add to Steam. After a brief moment, access your Steam library, find the Folon downgrader, add to your favourites. Access the cog symbol, properties, and in our compatibility tab, choose Proton Experimental. Once done, close that window and press play from Steam. When the Folon downgrader launches, we can make our trackpad work again by holding the Steam button. Inside the Folon downgrader, I had to close and launch this tool three times before the downgrading started, but stick with it and follow along and we'll get through this process as easily as possible. Click the folder icon for Steam Path and we need to make sure we land inside the folder where all of our Steam games are installed, which is Home, Deck, Dot Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Find the Fallout 4 folder, double click and choose this folder and press continue. On the next screen we must log into our Steam account through this tool so we can download the pre next gen version of Fallout 4. None of our account information is saved or stored by this tool and its only purpose is to access the Steam depot containing the previous update which cannot be achieved otherwise. So when you're ready press Steam and X, type in your username and again your password and click Login to Steam. The first time I did this, I was greeted with an indefinite logging into Steam screen, where I just simply closed the tool and reopened again, and I did need to enter my login again. But this time, I was asked to confirm my access with my mobile authenticator. Once I approved the access, the tool crashed a second time, so I closed the tool and reopened again. On the third time, I logged in again and eventually 
I reach the downgrade fallout 4 button. So go ahead and start the process, which took me up to 30 minutes to complete all 7 stages. There will be times, like stage 3, where I thought the tool had crashed, but after some time, the tool proceeded to stage 4 and eventually completed. Once you get the message to say done downgrading, go ahead and click finish to close the downgrader. Next, we need to install Fallout London from our 10 files we downloaded earlier from GOG, which is a piece of cake. So let's right click on the file ending in .exe and click add to Steam. Once again, find the setup.exe for Fallout London in your Steam library. Select this, add to your favorites, click the cog symbol, properties, and accessing the compatibility tab, go ahead and assign Proton Experimental. Close this window and press play on the setup.exe. As the installer loads, hold the Steam button to activate the trackpad. Press OK on the language selection, agree to the terms, but before installing, we need to do two things. Firstly, click on the Options button in the installer to understand that Fallout London wants to install to a Windows directory, which we're going to easily find right now. Access your home folder, dot steam, steam, steam apps, and compat data. Click the modified tab to see a numbered folder with just now or a few minutes ago, which has been created. This number will be different for everyone, so I recommend you make a quick note of it. Access the numbered folder, choose PFX and Drive C. Now let's stay inside this folder, bring back up our Fallout London GOG installer, with the folder in view behind, and hit Install. And we can see a folder was just created inside our numbered folders Drive C directory. Inside here, we now have the GOG Games folder, which when we access, will have our Fallout London folder installation. So a quick thing to note with the GOG installer. My progress was stuck when I first attempted this, but I didn't close the installer at all, and instead I held the Steam button and double clicked on the installer's taskbar icon to minimize, and then double clicking again to re-access the app. This for some reason gave the installer a bit of a jolt and got things working again. The installation, I would say, took around 20 minutes to complete, so just let it do its thing and once finished, we'll be told the installation completed successfully, and we can go ahead and exit. Inside our Drive C, GOG Games, and Fallout London folder, go ahead and drag every file inside this folder. Right click with L2 and cut. And now we want to navigate to our Steam Apps common Fallout 4 folder, which has been downgraded and will not work otherwise. Paste the entirety of those Fallout 4 London files inside. We will be prompted twice for overwriting and it's very important to click apply to all. Write into for the first and for the second click apply to all and overwrite to merge our Fallout London installation with our downgraded Fallout 4 installation. Now, we're almost at the finish line, but we need to take care of some sensitive copying of files, which are required for the game to run as well as possible on the Steam Deck. So come back to Steam, access Fallout 4, and we want to press play, but we're not going to play Fallout London, because it still thinks we want to play Fallout 4, and we still have one important stage to complete. When the Fallout 4 launcher appears, we will be told that our graphic settings have been configured for us under auto detection and our settings are set to low. And this is what we will be using unless you wish to access options in the launcher and configure your graphics otherwise. However, I would recommend keeping the game on low for the Steam Deck. 
Once you're happy with your graphics config, go ahead and press exit and we want to navigate to our folder browser. Right click on home and open in a new tab and navigate to dot steam, steam, steam apps and compat data, sorting modified by most recent. We can easily identify the Fallout 4 folder, which is the same number for everyone, and this is 377160. We want to access 377160, choose PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, My Documents, My Games, Fallout 4. To prevent confusion, let's understand that we should have on our tabs the Fallout 4 folder we just accessed from Compact Data and the Fallout 4 folder from our downgraded and merged with Fallout London folder. Just take a moment to understand and when you're ready we want to access our downgraded Fallout 4 install folder and access the folder called Fallout 4 with no space. Inside here, we want to right click and copy Fallout 4 prefs.ini. Switching to our other tab and pasting inside our My Games Fallout 4 folder and overwriting. Switch back to your downgraded Fallout 4 folder, go back to the main directory where everything is installed, and access the underscore config folder and we want to copy the fallout4.ini file. Switch to our My Games Fallout 4 folder and paste and overwrite. Once those two files are done, switch back to our downgraded Fallout 4 folder and we want to find fallout4launcher.exe. Right click and rename this to fallout4launcherbk.exe or whatever you feel like with the Steam keyboard with Steam and X. Next, we want to scroll down and find a file called f4se underscore loader.exe, which we must rename exactly to fallout4launcher.exe. We can click rename on the file we just renamed to bk, copying the Fallout 4 launch text, right clicking, and rename on f4se underscore loader, highlighting the text and pasting like so. It is important that this file is named correctly, otherwise Fallout London will not launch. So once you have that file prepared exactly as shown, we need to do one last task before we can play. Inside our downgraded Fallout 4 folder, which we should still be in, find the folder called underscore app data. Access this and copy all four files like so. And switch back to your My Games Fallout 4 folder. But instead of pasting them in here, go back three times to the Steam user folder. Access app data, local, Fallout 4, and paste all four items in here and overwrite the last one. Now go ahead and close all those folders and from desktop mode launch Fallout 4 and instead of the launcher appearing the game will now load into Fallout London. So go ahead and test the game quickly before exiting the game and returning to gaming mode. Inside gaming mode we can go ahead and launch the game as we would normally and enjoy visiting London inside Fallout on the Steam Deck. I hope this guide helped you all with getting Fallout London installed on the Steam Deck within SteamOS Gaming Mode. If you enjoyed the video I'd be grateful if you would leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this guide with others. The installation process should remain the same for the future. However, please rest assured that with all my guides, I'll either update the description, pinned comment, or post a series of comments below 
with any changes for us all to refer back to and your feedback and looking out for one another is much appreciated as this helps us all to identify ways we can improve for the future. Until next time, if you have any questions, please let me know. Enjoy the game, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.